Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got an unboxing to share with you today of something a little bit different um, but non no less exciting. Now this is from Cute Bee. Uh, they were kind enough to send me this to share with you all and I must say right so this is a DIY book nook kit. I actually bought a book nook for Catherine last Christmas. Um, she loves her books and all that sort of stuff. So I got her one last Christmas and it was it was from Amazon. Um, I, I don't know the manufacturer of it. However, I can already tell you before I've even opened this that this one is beefier. This one is definitely more upscale. So this one's called The Secret Rhythm. They have an absolute abundance of different ones on the website. I do have a link um, to the site and to this one down below. I also have a coupon code for you as well um, that will get you 8% off. So don't forget to use that. Um, it's just the code add more zest. It is written in the description though. Um, but some of the detail on this is absolutely amazing. So we've got little instruments, uh, we've got a little cat. Um, this is what they look like. So they sort of go on your bookshelf in between your books, but look like a bit of a hidden world. So there's quite a few different things. This one has this gorgeous little desk and chair, also has a little upper balcony. So click on the link if you wanna see sort of clearer pictures potentially but I'm excited to see what's in the book in the box um, I know my daughter Catherine is also very excited to put this together um, and to go shopping she also wants to go shopping as well so DIY book nook love handmade enjoy life so it all comes in a nice box um, all you need to put this together is some glue and some AAA batteries because it does have lighting in it so you can have your little light in your book nook um, and the main reason they do that is customs reasons which I completely get um, <clears throat> there can be a lot more involvement in codes when it comes to the likes of glue and batteries quite often you can't send so we have here we have our components for the batteries uh, and the little LED lights. So that's all in there. And let's have a look at the rest. So a lot of it is cut out wooden pieces. I am gonna open this in a minute and we'll see what else we can, all the bits that we can see. You also get in this one, um, I'm not sure if it's in all of them, but I know it's definitely in this one. Uh, and it does state when you do or you don't. But this is like a dust cover. So this one's a bigger one. So this is the one that I've got. And then the dust cover goes on the front, which of course will stop dust getting into the little intricate parts. Um, so it states that you need to wait for the glue to dry in the door frame. Um, and then this is a piece of acrylic. It's quite a nice thick piece actually, but you do need to take the covers off both sides to of course make it clear all the way through. So there is a dust cover on either side. So we have that, which is really good. So that goes with the dust cover. We also have this, which is a lot thinner piece. Uh, we have some wax paper. Ooh. We also have some paper sheets. We've got some gorgeous little books here. So these do need cutting out. And there's also this paper sheet for cutting out. So it looks like we have a couple of images. We have a rug. 
uh, looks like that may well also be a picture and then these are potentially letters or parts of books rather excited uh, then we have a book so it does stay age 14 plus uh, but it gives you all the steps so you have details of what is inside this packet so that we have a frosted rod we have some stickers battery box led lights etc you should have your wax paper oh it does say we have a coffee cup i've just seen that it's in here so cute look we have a little cup and saucer with coffee inside um so yeah you do have a list of your papers your stickers your battery boxes etc it does advise you to test the led before starting it just to confirm everything works and then we have our wooden block list which is these so let's let's get in it when Kathleen buys her own, she can take her own wrapping off. <laughs> I want to get into this and see what we have. So this one is a printed. So we have two printed sides already. So I'm guessing they make up the sides of the book nook. Uh, we then have this that has pop-out pieces. So most of these are pop-out. I'm trying not to push them too hard. We also have some printed pop-out pieces as well. Uh, they've all got the likes of L numbers and things on them. Or we've got H numbers here. Uh, we've also got what looks like the floor. And looking at the likes of uh, step one, we actually have to put and stick that rug onto this section here. So it's nicely marked out as to where you pop things. Oh, but look at these little cuts in here. And even that one, look how pretty that is. The quality looks really, really good. Uh, it also has a, these tools here that can help you take out the small parts. We've also got some printed that look like images here. Look, we've got Beatles album. Oh. We have keyboards that look like you put together a piano. Oh, we've even got cassette tapes. Love it. Then we've got an E27, but then it also shows an E27 backup. So it, I did notice it said something backup on something here. Oh, there we go, L2 backup. So we've got L2, but then we have a backup. So things that potentially could get damaged when you take them out, it looks like you have a backup for them. So here we have E29, which looks like two tiny little spindles, and we have a backup spindle. So while I would definitely suggest taking a lot of care when <clears throat> sort of getting the final little <clears throat> nick to get these out. There are some backups built in. We've got a record player with some little... So we actually, that is actually a full-on backup part of the sort of gramophone section. But then we do have some records. We have some wine bottles, little parts of a wine glass... Uh, a clock, there's our cat, chess, on a chess board, oh it's amazing all the little things we have in here, oh we do have an escape artist, I have got one bit that's come out, does that come out of there maybe, I'm not sure, I'll be careful with that little bit, but as you may be able to see on this, I'm not sure if it's apparent, probably not no there is just a little tiny tiny piece of of it that keeps it stuck into this board which is what you need to take it out so there's little tiny notches and um, so you pos quite possibly could go in with a craft knife to sort of 
work those little notches free. Um, we have what looks like some frames in here. Um, I've got it upside down again. Uh, we've got some details on music here. We've got really intricate designs that look like they make up the likes of the chairs and things. Oh, we've got some gorgeous pieces here and some really pretty and ornate. I've got it upside down again, playing that game. Gorgeous music symbol here. As you can see, that is actually cut through. We've got some guitars, a violin. Uh, we've also got the, the back of a guitar, so maybe we make that a little bit thicker. Uh, this looks like it might be the platform part of further up on the secret nook. Um, then we've got, again, we've got a few more backups, but it looks like we've got some speakers and potentially some drawers and things. This makes me wonder if you actually put drawers into the cabinet. <gasps> That would be awesome. So let me make sure I keep that part safe. I don't think that's anything, but you know when you panic. Um, so yeah, so it shows you to um, to get you know which which parts to get. So paper one to seven, where you need to tape the lights. It also then shows you where you need to put each piece within. So you sort of assemble the parts on the wall with the clock and things. You then clip it down into the base frame. So I'll do sort of a quick run through, have a look at a couple of the different pieces. But we do have a cabinet with this awesome ornate piece. So this actually goes behind some of the holes on, the, on that cabinet actually um, to show through. We've got um, putting some records together. We've got popping um, chess pieces on the board. We've got popping the gramophone together and how they then all sit on top of this cabinet. We use four different pieces to create an amp for it. Um, we've got a guitar that goes into a stand. <gasps> so many pretty little things. Um, We've got all this racking and shelving and how you make that up and pop that to be at the side. We've got your wine and your whiskey glasses. We've also got how to make your books. So you actually wrap the books around a piece of wood and you make all the different books and stack them along with the cassettes and a record and the alcohol and things all get popped up on there. We've got the little ornate pieces that help to make your sort of gallery fence part. Fence? No. What's it called? Bannister. To make your bannister around the top. Oh, the Eiffel Tower image. Is it the Eiffel Tower? Is it the Blackpool Tower? Uh, this is actually a view out of a window. So you pop that in to be your view out the window. You've also got how you affix your LED light so it actually goes into the lamp. Oh, this is pretty. Um, affixing your top banister, you're doing your stairs, you create a piano um, and pop a little drawer front on. So you actually create a drawer with a piece of music and then you pop your drawer front on so when you pull it out you see a sheet of music. That is amazing. Um, then we've got more bits here, things that go on the desk and how you make those. Uh, you make chairs, you make a little, a little stand for bits of music sheets paper. Other things that go up on the shelves, we've got a piano that gets made here. Uh, we've also got more sort of dresses and things. Oh, looks like we make a little cat bowl. No, it's not a cat bowl, it's a record player. If I'd have looked, I was just seeing this part, but if I actually look up here, no, it's a record player. So we make a record player, we make the speakers, 
uh, and then where they get popped up on the top and how you can display some records across the top. What are we making here? Oh, that looks like it might be the light fitting that goes in the top. Looks like it is. We then also have um, some guitars and things and how you make the stands to attach those to the wall and then how you pop your other side on. So the, the full printed ones do end up being the sides. Then we've got another wall shelf that we make and that also has some cassettes and a record and things on. And then how we affix that to the back and pop the back onto it. Uh, then we've got more paper things that we add um, and then it advises you to remove a support piece that you've put on the bottom originally um, and to pop the base on and then it tells you about gluing on the front and then you can slide in your cover. Uh, there are loads and loads of different designs. There is a few different ones on the back of here. We've got an internal bookstore, uh, sailing memory, Elegant Song, Magic Pharmacist, Under the Securitary, Butterfly of Unknown Lands. So that's just a few that are explained on the back of the book. But this one's called The Secret Rhythm. So you can see you've got that little thing that holds papers. You've got a desk uh, with music stuff on. You've got a chair. You've got a case that's here. Stairs. You've got a dresser across the back. You've got more things up the top. And then, of course, we have the guitars and things that were hung up so loads and loads of different things that you sort of create to make your own secret book nook um, so yeah I'm rather excited by this um, we'll see if she lets me have a go as well but I know she's been excited to do another one this one um, looks like it's a lot more in depth but I say it looks a lot better quality as well and then of course you've got the parts where you can light it up so I'll pop the link in the description down below so that you can have a look at the images a little bit closer up a little bit more in depth make sure that that one stays in the middle but just the ornate part of so many of these so I'm guessing this plain one this is more the books and things. So these will be the book pieces that you wrap up. But most of them are printed um, with various things on to make your room. And then say, what do we have? We had a rug. This went behind a cabinet. Um, one of these goes into the little drawer um, to show the music sheets. And then we have books and like a pamphlet thing that you sort of put together so lots and lots of different different pieces that make up an amazing little book knock I say I don't think that's anything but I'm I'm putting it in there anyway <laughs> just in case it's not going to be my fault um so yeah Discount code down below. I will let you know what this is like once she has finished it. Um, I reckon this is going to be a rather exciting Christmas project. So maybe she'll let me take part in as well. Uh, but this box is sort of resealable, so at least you can keep everything all together while you're working through all the individual process bits and pieces so thank you so much to cute b for sending me this um we're gonna have great fun this christmas thank you to all of you for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon